gold, not of silver. Cut it. I cut it. I cut it. I command by fire. Come out. Come out. Holy Ghost power. Holy Ghost fire! Holy Ghost fire! There's a revival going on! Not of gold! Not of... Hello, God bless you. Welcome to Upon Mount Zion. There shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness and the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. You will possess your possession. Amen. You will possess your possession. Amen. God wants to set us totally free and keep us free. Deliverance is exercising spirits, casting them out, and putting the believer free, putting that person free. Like I've said over time, a believer cannot be possessed, but a believer can be influenced. A believer can have spirits living inside of him or her. So it's very important that we understand that a believer can be influenced, can be oppressed, can be obsessed, can be depressed, but cannot be Possess. Upon Mount Zion is a deliverance program where we minister to people around the world and release grace upon their life so they walk in their victory, which is in Christ Jesus. And I believe, God, that your time has come. Amen. Father, we thank you. We worship you. Thank you, Jesus. At the four corners of the earth, you are the sunshine holy worthy beautiful you are i bless and lift your name you are worthy of my praise there is none like you at the four corners of the earth you are the sunshine holy holy beautiful you are i bless and lift your name oh you blessed savior you are worthy of my praise there is none like you are the four corners of the earth you are the sunshine, holy, holy, beautiful you are, Jesus you are, Savior you are, healer you are, excellent in your ways, mighty you are. Faithful you are, holy, worthy, beautiful you are, Jesus you are, Savior you are, healer you are, excellent in your ways, mighty you are. Faithful you are, holy, worthy, beautiful you are, Jesus you are, Savior you are, healer you are, excellent in your ways, mighty you are. Faithful you are, holy, worthy, beautiful you are. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, 
You are worthy of my praise. Oh, you are worthy of my praise. Amen. You are worthy of my praise. Oh, you are worthy of my praise. Amen. You are worthy of my praise. Oh, 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 you are worthy of my praise. Eze, you are worthy of my praise. Oh, 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 you are worthy of my praise. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Father, we thank you. We worship you. We cannot see you, but we see all your wonders. We worship you, oh Lord. We cannot see you, but we see all your wonders. We worship you, oh Lord. Oh, Shubarero. Oh, Shubarero. Oh, Shubarero. Oh, Batauri. Tanisha Ware. Oh, Shubarero. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' name. Amen. All right. For the next couple of weeks, we're going to go back to the teaching of the marine spirits and deal with marine spirits. But I want us to do something today against witchcraft. War against witchcraft. W A W. War against witchcraft. So we're going to declare war against witchcraft. And it's going to be for a couple of weeks as we handle this teaching against witchcraft. God wants us to handle the teachings against witchcraft. In Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 10, we discover that God gave an instruction that witchcraft shall not be found among us. Idolatry. There shall not be one found among you, any that make his son to pass through the fire, that use their divination, an observer of times, an enchanter, or a witch. One of the angers that God had against Jezebel, the wife of Ahab, in 2 Kings 9.22, was witchcraft. Inasmuch as Jezebel was that woman that stood by the husband, but God was angry. And if you see one of the things in the life of Jezebel, there are several characteristics we see, and all of these were because of the potency she drew from witchcraft. She was domineering. She was convincing. Everybody around her, she swallowed them up. Those are the symptoms of a person who is operating under witchcraft spirit, witchcraft spell. In Micah chapter 5, verse 12, God told us he's going to cut off witchcraft from the land. That's the word of the Lord. And people are going to say that why are you giving us Old Testament? Witchcraft and all is Old Testament. That's not true. In Acts chapter 8, verse 9 and 11, we see a man called Simon in the days of the early church. The Bible said the man swallowed up everybody through witchcraft. He was a sorcerer. And if you read verse 11, you see what the man did. In verse 11, the Bible said they had regard for him that long. One man swallowed up a whole city because of witchcraft. You see how come, Baba, maybe that was the time of the early church. That was the time of the earliest time of the apostles. When the apostles gradually left uh, before Paul showed up. Maybe there was no witchcraft after Paul showed up because of the teachings of grace. That's not true. If you read Galatians chapter 3 verse 1, he said, Who has bewitched you, O foolish Galatia? Paul knew that somebody can be bewitched. Who have bewitched you, O foolish Galatians? Who has bewitched you, O foolish? So, when somebody is bewitched, he starts behaving like a fool. Who has bewitched you, O foolish Galatians? So, witchcraft is real. In fact, there are four classes of operations. In Ecclesiastes chapter 6, um, sorry, Ephesians 6, 12. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, rulers of the darkness of this world. Spiritual wickedness in high places. Principalities are a, a, a class of spirits that are in charge of nations and territories. 
If a man is sent by God to go into a place to minister the word of God, a village or a town, the man must take charge of the principality. If you read the Bible, uh, principalities means prince in their palaces. If you read your Bible in the book of Daniel chapter 10, chapter 10, you discover there was a principality called the prince of Persia. Principalities are priests in their palaces. Priests, people that, uh, class of spirits that rule an atmosphere. So the Bible says, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. Principalities control a territory. So if you are going to, if you are living in the UK, you are living in Holland, you are living in Germany, you are living in China, you are living in Japan, you are living in America, you are living in Costa Rica, you are living in Cuba, any nation you are living in, Belgium, Italy, whatever nation, France you are living in, to succeed, you must stand against the principality of Paris, of France, the principality of Belgium. Thou principality that controls Belgium, I will not bow to you. Thou principality that controls America, I will not bow to you. Thou principality that controls Nigeria, I will not bow to you. That principality, so principalities are very important. Powers are those in government. Those who try to terrorize you through diabolic influence. Once a man gets to the class of power, those in positions, authority, that boss that wants to swallow up everybody through uh, diabolic means, powers, Powers are those that are certain politicians who are very uh, demonic and diabolic. So long they stand on the place, they swallow up the political career of other people. Powers. Spiritual wickedness in high places. This is where witchcraft falls into. Witchcraft falls into spiritual wickedness in high places. You know, it was witchcraft that ruined the world. The Bible says, and the serpent. Satan entered the serpent. That was witchcraft. Because one of the agents of witchcraft is the serpentine spirit. Serpentine spirit is an agent of witchcraft. So, Satan entered. So, we can discover that the fall of man is traceable to witchcraft. So, witchcraft are things that we need to, uh, first that we need to handle. When he was talking about the works of the flesh, idolatry in Galatians 5 verse 20, the next thing he mentioned was witchcraft, then heresies, seditions, Rot, strife, emulations. So witchcraft is age long. It's as old as creation. So for you to confront such powers that are old and ancient and age long as old as creation, you must also know how to stand on the word of God. I see God setting you free. Amen. I see you walk into freedom. Amen. One of the ways people easily get into witchcraft is through what I call Wrong point of contact. Wrong point. Somebody can wear a, a, a demonized shirt and, be, and enter into witchcraft. You know, when you say witchcraft, people don't understand. When you say witchcraft, people expect one tree. Especially Africans. One Iroko tree, we have spirits gathered on top. All of those are just part of it. But witchcraft is the spirit of domination, manipulation. Domination, manipulation, confrontation, so it's a spiritual thing. Once you have this point of contact, you see, one time in First Samuel chapter 24, verse 4 and verse 11, when David wanted to kill Saul, he had gotten to where Saul lay down. To prove to Saul that he actually saw Saul, the Bible says he cut a piece of his garment. You see, that's point of contact. A piece of his cloth. In Genesis 39, verse 11, the wife of Potiphar, what did she hold as an evidence against Potiphar? Potiphar's clothes and Joseph's clothes. What did she hold as an evidence against Joseph? His clothes. She held that evidence against Joseph by holding his clothes. Satan uses points of contact. You see, sometimes, and that's why people must be careful. Sometimes it could be your money. There are people that have given out their money and their money taken to the realms of witchcraft. And they start going broke. Some people live abroad and they send money home. As soon as they send money home, things shut down for them. They start a project at home. And as soon as they start the project, money stops. Point of, you see, to detect somebody pregnant in the hospital, all the doctor needs is the urine. Point of contact. By that urine, they can control and detect things. Sometimes the blood sample. Point of contact. Point of contact. Point of contact. When the brothers of Joseph wanted to show their father that Joseph was dead, 
in Genesis 37, 32, all they needed was his clothes. I'm praying for you now. Every point of contact that has opened you up to witchcraft spell today is broken. Amen. In Numbers chapter 13, verse 27, when the spies went into the land, they brought points of contact as a proof of their victory. In Acts chapter 21, verse 10, when prophet Agabus was to speak to Paul, all he heard was Paul's giddo. He said, the man that holds this giddo from verse 10 to verse 12, bring up verse 11. And when he was coming to us, he took Paul's ghetto, bound it with his own hands and feet, and said, Thus said the Holy Ghost, about a shatter. We are the error of the Holy Ghost. We are the error of the Holy Ghost. We are the error of the Holy Ghost. We, people are growing in the Holy Ghost every day. It's your time to enjoy the Holy Ghost. Amen. He said, As the, about the Holy Ghost, so shall this man, the Jews at Jerusalem, bind the man that owned this ghetto, and shall deliver him into the hands of the Gentiles. So it can be a clot. There are people that have woken up and discover a piece of their cloth was cut off. I'm not just in Africa. Europe. America. Demonic spirits and witchcraft spirits do not need visas to travel. So they discover that a part of their cloth has been cut off. A part of their cloth has been cut off. Some people, one part of their shoe, one leg of the shoe is missing. One pair. For some people, it, is, it might be something, uh, uh, what's it called now? It might be hair. And uh, see, I may sound very ancient. But it's because I know how demon spirits operate. You need the Holy Spirit this entire time. Because without the Holy Spirit, you are going to be swept off your feet. Satan knows that I know him. I know how he operates. Sometimes, it could be hair. It could be hair. I've seen people wake up and the part of their hair has been cut off. All of those things. If Satan is, is so powerful, why is he looking for the point of contact? That's to let you know it's not as powerful as you think. Apart from maternal connection, maybe from the womb, people get possessed. Whenever somebody comes to this world, there must be a connection, a contact point. That's why some people get into their food and their food is poisoned or uh, demonically poisoned. And they get into witchcraft. It doesn't matter who you are. In the realm of the spirit, everyone is treated equally. Whether you are a president, whether you are a layman, they are all treated, everyone is treated equally. It's just like when sickness comes. Sickness has no respect for anybody. When everybody leaves this world in death, you shut your eyes in death, there's no respect for anybody. It's either heaven or hell. There's no VIP, fire, no VIP. There's no VIP hellfire. Sickness and disease do not respect people. There's no VIP HIV. Have you seen VIP coronavirus? VIP coronavirus COVID-19. VIP. There's no VIP COVID. Say this one is called VIP COVID. Or VIP is it Omicron now? Say VIP Omicron. Omicron for the elites, for the elites and the top echelon in the society. This is the um, um, that's how it is in the spirit. Everybody is equal. There's no that's why sickness hits a big man. He doesn't care how much he has. Why am I saying this? Don't say I've gone beyond this. I can't. You know, it's, it's in the realm of the spirit. Everyone is equal and the same. And that's why we must, when we are praying, we must get to that point in our lives. Whether you are a professor, you are, you know, sometimes when prayer is real, you see some people, they are trying to articulate it. I rebuke you, foul spirit. I rebuke you, strange spirit. I command you, come out. I command you, die. You see a man trying to analyze spirit. Die. Spirit, don't die. Spirit, spirit, don't die. This, this is not too articulate. When it comes to the workings of the spirit of God, every word formatted by the Holy Ghost is of but most important. We see in Genesis 38 from verse 18 to 20. When Judah went to the daughter-in-law, Tamar, unknowing, he gave her his bracelet. Point of contact. You see, Satan knows the power of point of contact. Everything you see in the realm of the spirit today is being copied by demonic spirits. In Acts chapter 19, if you read from verse 12, what happened? 
from verse 11, God did special miracles in the hand of Paul. Verse 12, handkerchiefs and aprons were taken from Paul's body. What was that? Point of contact. Satan copied from that. Satan stole from God. Satan is trying to, to emulate. Every point of contact, whatever it is that the devil is using and holding, witchcraft powers are holding as a point of contact to manipulate your life, to manipulate your affairs, to manipulate your destiny, to manipulate your home, today be broken! Amen. 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 Be broken. Amen. Everything that the enemy is holding, I say, whether you have, I don't care where they took your photos to, your pictures, whoever has caught it in the realm of the spirit, and they are using it now. You are not aware. You don't even know, but something is being used against you. You are building a house, a project. You are not aware. They came, they collected sand from over oh, shutter. They collected sand from there, and they took that sand, and said, so long as she is building at home, wherever she is abroad, things are going to be bad. Before you know it, you lost your job. Before you know it, you were fired from your house. Now you are almost roaming the street. You are living from hand to mouth in the name of Jesus. You can't carry this Bible and go through that. I speak to your life. I speak to your destiny. Anything they are using against you as a point of contact today, be broken. Amen. Be broken. Amen. Be broken. Amen. I decree you, whatever they have done in the spirit realm, I undo it. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Abarakato barakatela kakayata. Rasoba yaba open your mouth and pray. Akobarikata yata. Aragadiada. 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 Rakoshati barakato. E kwa kwa sikate. E barada da yada. E baragadiada. 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 In Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus. There are different kinds of witchcraft. Witchcraft is manipulation. Is manipulation. Diversion. The word witch means an act of diversion. No, the word witch means an uh, uh, diversion. The word craft means an act. You know, when somebody learns an act, you say this is the person's craft. A job, a duty, an assignment. A profession is a craft. So when you say witchcraft, if, witch, if with the word witch means diversion, witchcraft means an act of diversion. This is the original pattern something should go. But once a witch is involved, it diverts it. So the whole essence and assignment of witchcraft is to divert. To take things out of its original course. To take things away from its normal course. This is how something should be. But when, when witches are involved, they take it out of the normal course. So what the person would have experienced or enjoyed at a certain age, it gets to that age, is not enjoying it. What a person should have enjoyed at a certain level in life, because there is a diversion, he doesn't enjoy it. So witchcraft is the act of diversion the act of diversion taking something from its original course or original state or original intent and purpose that's witchcraft that's witchcraft so what god wants us to do is to confront it is to put an end to it I'm telling you, entrance. These are entry points of witchcraft I'm showing you. Entry points of witchcraft. Number one, point of contact. All different points of contact. That's why when, when, when one of the things as a person I, I had to do is praying on materials. I'm very, not skeptical, very sensitive. In our ministry, before we even do the uh, communion service, I have to hear from the Lord. Before I bless oil, I have to ask the Lord. And the Lord said, do that every once in a month. When people come to me and say, oh, we need materials. I don't buy, I don't sell them oil. I'm not against people who do that. Maybe they have a leading. I tell them, bring your own. And I bless it. Sometimes they bring water to me. 
I'm not, too, I'm not a fan of one who believes in blessing water. I don't believe in it. I'm not against those who believe. Please, you must get, you must understand when somebody is talking personal. I personally do not believe I should bless water. I believe any water that any believer lays hands on is blessed. I don't believe you must bring water to me to bless. Okay? I don't believe in that they call holy water. I don't know, but I don't believe in certain things. Because any water I believe are blessed is to me is already holy. So I do not believe in so when people come around and they hold, but there is there are some things that people bring and I lay hands on. When the woman is looking for a child and I see the woman bring up a, a baby's you know, cloth or material, that's a good point of contact. In as much as there are negative, there are good ones. So I'm not against those who don't do it. I'm not against those who do it. But I'm saying whatever we do, there should be moderation. There are places where they sell everything. So if you are not careful, demons take over that. Entry points. Entry points. Another entry point of witchcraft is desperacy for results. Desperacy. Somebody wants to get something done by all means. Those who are desperate to get married, they start introducing them to things. Before you know it, witchcraft takes over. Desperacy for the people that are so desperate for something. Someone will travel abroad and they are desperate. Some people wanted children and they become so desperate for a child. Listen to me, there's nothing wrong. Desperate. Some are not just desperate for the child. Some are desperate for the, a, a particular gender. A boy, a girl. Once God gives you a gender, you have other genders. If God gives you a boy, when your son grows up, will he marry a boy? He will marry a girl. So you now have a boy and a girl. When your daughter grows up, will she marry a girl? She's going to marry a boy. So you now have a boy and a girl. Once God gives you a gender, you have another gender. So stop trying to kill yourself. Before the Lord gave me a son, I know what, oh, I have do I have daughters. And I didn't feel any difference. Now, when God brought my son, I still didn't feel different. I was normal. I didn't feel, I'm sure my wife must have been looking at me. This man, is he okay? I didn't feel nothing. I wasn't, I'm just normal. There's nobody that are crying, oh God, I have five boys. I don't have a girl. I wish I can get a girl. Some say I have, I have um, girls. I wish I can get a boy. What's the difference? Especially African mentality. Those from Africa. We need somebody to carry our legacy. Somebody to carry our name. If you are in the grave, do you remember your name? Some of us are so desperate. In Abraham's desperacy for the child, that's where I met Hagar. And Hagar brought, has brought the anger that we see today in the world. Men are so desperate. Abraham was so desperate. Can I say this to you, whoever you are? A child is a child. A child is a child. You got to grow and understand that. So that you are not carried away with this consciousness of it has to be this, it has to be that, it has to be this, it has to be that. So you got to be careful. 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 In desperacy for the child. They get into that. In desperacy. In desperacy. In desperacy. Another thing that opens eating in the dream. Anything you ate in the dream was an initiation to witchcraft. But you must understand, you know, as, as, we, as we go on, maybe next Saturday, I'll tell us some class of witchcraft. There, there can be blind witchcraft. They are put asleep and then they dream, they see themselves, it's like their body has been taken somewhere. It's like they get to, into a place, they meet people. But to them, it's a dream. It's not a dream. What, what you think is a dream is something that's happening real. It's not a dream. But you're blind to it. They shut you down to it. So you wake up, yeah. I dreamt, I saw myself flying. Somebody was chasing me, chasing me, chasing me. The next night, I just took off. I said, flying. Guess what the devil tells you? The devil now said that was the angel. And I, the angel of God carried you on eagle's wings. No angel carried you anywhere. No angel carried you. You took off. You were, you were soaring and floating in the air. That was witchcraft. That was not an angel. Because an angel carried you. If an angel carries you, an angel carries you today. 
you are going to notice that you are on a wing. You are carried by a personality. Not you see yourself flying. That's my nature that carried you. Once you eat in the dream, you have been initiated into which, but you are not aware. That thing you are eating, that rice. I think rice is universal. There should be rice in America, rice in London, rice in the Bahamas, rice in Jamaica, rice everywhere. That rice and that fish that was so sweet, you ate it in the dream. You even used toothpick <laughs> in the dream. You ate the rice well. Sir, ma, that food was prepared with blood. And I tell people, one of the remedies when you eat in the dream, you saw that you ate in the dream, one of the remedies when you wake up, stay till 12 without breakfast. Stay till 12 noon without breakfast. Pray prayer of purging and cleansing. Just keep breakfast. Don't eat at 12. Because by 12, you are entering the circle of another day. 12 noon is a circle of another day. In the realm of the spirit, once it's 12 noon, it's a day. Okay? That's why in fasting, 12 to 12 is stronger than 6 to 6. 12 to 12. Do more of 12 to 12 than 6 to 6. From this noon to the next noon. If you do that a lot, you purge your system. 12 to 12. There are a lot of things I'll be teaching you in Wonders Without... Um, sorry. Upon Mount Zion. I'm used to Wonders Without Number. Upon Mount Zion. So, 12 to 12 is stronger than 6. But 6 to 6 is... um. It's a traditional way to fast. I'm taking so much time, okay? It's in the dream. Anytime you eat in the dream, Satan plants a deposit in you. Satan fixes a deposit in somebody. Anything that has entered into you via eating in the dream. In the name of Jesus. As I begin to pray today, today, you are going to see a reaction. Yeah, Those man. things will start coming out of you. Yeah, Those things will start coming out of you. Amen. Yeah, Everything you ate in the dream, everything you ate in the dream that I've formed between sometimes eating the dream is like a remote. When a devil has a deposit in you, all you need is to work with that deposit. Those things you eat in the dream, they start using that to manipulate. It forms a substance. They start using that to manipulate you. You're, you're, a job is coming, they divert it. What's that substance? You know, when you have a remote, you control. A job is coming your way, they divert it. Because that's the act of witchcraft. Diversion. You are supposed to get married. Your entire relationship lead to marriage. Because they have a substance in you, they divert it. This is supposed to happen for you. You are supposed to get this powerful job. They have a substance. They, you, they, they connect to that substance that entered you. They are in the, in the dream and they divert it. So, before you know anything, your life is full of frustration, diversion, and you ask yourself, what is going on in my life? Right where you are. The power of God! I want to pray. I want to pray that every point of contact and everything you have eaten in the dream will start coming out now. Yeah. Will start coming out. Yeah. The power of God is setting you free. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. Whatever you are, I'd like you to put one hand on your chest. Just place one hand on your chest and we are going to start praying. You say these words after me because one of the ways to enjoy deliverance is proclamation. You must say it. You must say it. Salvation to get salvation, you must say it. With the heart man believe it, with the mouth confession is made. Deliverance also, you have to say it. He sent his word and his word delivered them. So you must say it. There's no way deliverance can be ministered to you unless you are first vocal. You must say something. So right now we're going to say it. You're going to say these words after me. We're going to handle every point of contact being used against me by the witchcraft world. Today, blood of Jesus, speak for me. And also, will not speak against eating in the dream. All of the sexual attacks in the dream, we'll get into all of that next Saturday. So, follow us and tell somebody about uh, Upon Mount Zion because a lot of expository things. I'll give you some true life stories and once in a while, we'll allow people to give their own encounter before I minister. You, we will I'll get people here who will say, how do we abound? What do we are into? Before I minister, so that you understand that demonic operations are real and they need to stop them. Put one on under your chest. Say, In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every point of contact being used against me. Being used against me. 
in the witchcraft world. Blood of Jesus, speak for me. Speak for me. Speak for me. Open your mouth and turn into prayer right now. Blood of Jesus. 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 Rakashata. Rakada. Blood of Jesus. In Jesus name. Amen. We're going to pray through against each in the dream. Whether it happened 10 years ago, 5 years ago, 3 years ago, or it's currently happening now. Maybe it happened years ago. It's currently happening now. Anything you have eaten in the dream, it will come out by fire now. Amen. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. Every witchcraft deposit. Every witchcraft deposit. Planted in my life. Planted in my life. Via eating, eating, eating the dream. As I pray now. As I pray now. Come out by fire. Come out by fire. Come out by fire. Come out by fire. Rapa Baza Gabata. Rakata. Come out. 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 Rasha Kata. Roko Pozo Pozo. Roko Zozo. Roko Toko 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 Yarabasha. Come out. Roko Toko Toko. Roko Sopra Toko. Yagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagag
There is power. Kaya bayata. Arabada batayada badash. Oh, there is power. The glory of God. I feel the anointing in the blood. Every deposit will come out of you now. Yeah. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ. There is power mighty in the blood. Right where you are. Place one hand on your forehead. Your right hand, most probably, most preferably. I command everything my father has not planted in the life of that my brother, in the life of that my sister. Every planting of the devil, every deposit in your body, either through point of contact, either through any form of eating the dream, through the powers of the nine dream, I command you deposit of hell, pack your load, pack your property, come out of the people, come out of the people, come out of them, lose her, lose him. Right now, 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 that witchcraft power that has held my brother bound, held my sister bound all this year. Come out! Look at that. Loser, look at that. Loser, look at that. Loser, 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 loser. Come out of her. Come out of him. Rakoso prekete, rakoso prekete, rakoso prekete, rakoso prekete, rakoso prekete, rakoso. Come out of her, 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 come out of him. Come out, 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 come out. Yeah, that's it. By fire, by fire now, fire, 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 fire. Come out. Come out! Yeah. I command. I command. I command. I command. I command. I command. Everything my father has not planted. Everything God has not planted. Everything in your body. Whatever you ate in the dream that is already being used against you. Walking inside you. Rapata. Rakose prekete. Akarapata. 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 Fire! 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 Into your system. Into your system. Come out now. Come out now. Through any opening in the body. Back your load. Come out. 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 Catch fire. 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 Come out. I speak your deliverance. Babu Gobosha. Rakate. Rakapata. Come out. Pack your load. Pack your property. Pack your load. Lose them and let them go. Lose them. Lose them. Lose them. Lose them. Lose that man. Lose that lady. Lose that lady. Lose her. Lose her. Lose her. Lose her. Lose her. Pack your load. I speak your deliverance. Amen. That's it. It's coming out of that lady. It thrown up. That's it. It's coming out. Coming out. It's coming out. It's coming out. It's coming out. out of that brother. Amen. Out of that man. Amen. Out. Yes. Throw them up. Drop. Throw them up. Come out of them. Out. 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 In Jesus' name. Lord, I decree freedom. I decree freedom. Amen. I decree deliverance. I decree that anything that God, that's it. That's it. That's it. Things are coming out of people. 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 Come out of this brother. Come out of this sister. It's coming out of them. Coming out. Come out. I speak your freedom. That's it. Coming out. Yeah, coming out. Amen. It's coming out. Amen. It's coming out of this one. Amen. It's coming out. Amen. Pack your load. Amen. Pack your load. Amen. Out! By fire. 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 Rakosho preketese. Rekosho preketea. I decree your freedom. Amen. All that you have lost because of all these demonic deposits is out of you. Amen. Today, get them back. Amen. Get back your prosperity. Amen. Get back your possession. Amen. Get back your wealth. Amen. I decree it. 
so shall it be Amen. those points of contact being used against you right now in the name of jesus by the blood of jesus by the word of god by the blood of jesus all you have lost because of them get them back get them back get them back get them back in jesus mighty name thank you father in jesus name it is well with you you are totally free it makes sure you um, follow the partnership you're going to be informed what to do there are some displays that will be put on there upon mount zion at gmail.com if you are not a partner please become a partner because there are, the zoom link is only for partners it's not for everybody we give that to partners and partners be told from time to time what to do in the name of jesus Amen. your freedom is permanent Amen. upon mount zion there shall be deliverance there shall be holiness and the house of jacob shall possess their possession i'll see you on saturday god bless you Amen. i command by fire come out come out